Hey guys, it's Dias back again with another paint shop pro tip. Um, I call on this one a tip because it's not much of a tutorial and I've already covered how to do what you can see on this image right now in another tutorial. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you how to mess with the textures and the patterns. Now, one thing, here's another little tip that you can do, which is what I do, by easily doubling or tripling your gradients, textures, and patterns, you can do a cheap little move by going to each thing in our files locations and just cross-reference them. As you can see, here I have textures directory in my patterns folder. And you can do this with your gradients as well. And by doing that, you can use your patterns as textures and your textures as patterns and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to change up the default textures and patterns that are already installed and do this to them, you can do the same thing, but just remember with the newest newer versions of PaintShop that in your program files folders, it's not slash textures anymore. Like in the older versions it used to be slash gradients or slash patterns or whatever. But now in the, the newest versions, it's a numbered directory. So you're going to have to literally sit there and go through each folder till you find which ones are containing the images for the textures. And over here is our materials. And we can easily pick out what colors and whatever else. Now, one thing with the textures and the patterns, when you go to like fill them or place them, they're always going to be transparent. Like even when you pick gradients and your patterns, they're just they're always going to be like see just load the texture as a separate image and then just lay it down as a layer. And there's a tu I also have a tutorial on how you can do that to images. <clears throat> And that's just a little trick that you can do to double up on your textures and your patterns and gradients and all that. And if you want more brushes and patterns and textures, unfortunately this site doesn't have too much in the way of filters, but good old DeviantArt. It's DeviantArt.com, search resources in stock and just type what you're looking for and you'll find lots and lots and lots of brushes and patterns and gradients and textures. Lots and lots of them. And it's a good community and I suggest any art buff to go there and buy stuff. Well, in my channels folder you can see a link to my specific DeviantArt page and you can check out my work there. And whoever else. Well, support the art community, check out DeviantArt and get yourself some free brushes and gradients while you're at it. Peace guys.